What's up, my beautiful people out there in YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram land? It's your boy, Rome. I'm back in the studio, and today is going to be part two to our tabletop tripod video. Um, basically, some insight on what you guys may want to purchase if you're looking to start your own podcast or to be able to create content for your social media, including but not limited to YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, whichever it may be. So let's get started. So if you're looking here, you know what? Before we get started, there's something I wanted to uh, touch upon. There's a lot of unrest in our world today. And it feels like no matter what happens or how positive we try to stay, every day another shoe drops something bad happens here in houston everyone was preparing for this major storm and we were blessed that it didn't hit the city it didn't destroy galveston but yet people in louisiana got the full brunt of that storm so in some ways our blessing was their curse so Let's keep them in our prayers and let's think about those people who are in need. And something came to me the other day and I wanted to present that to you guys and get your input on it. What I've been thinking about doing, and I think we all should think about this at some degree, to some degree. Now, what I'm about to say does not apply to everyone, but we can all do our part. Let's try to do for each person that we encounter, at least one person, a day, a week, a month, whatever it may be, some random act of kindness. And I'm not necessarily referring to people who are in your immediate orbit, you know, your family, your friends, or whatever. I'm talking about people you don't know, people you've never met before. Just do something kind for them. And hopefully this message will get out and other people will do the same. So that's all I have to say on that subject. All right, let's get to this tripod. All right, guys. So what you see here is my Zoom H6 that is connected to this Manfrotto tripod. Now, this tripod you can find on Amazon for $19, a little bit over that, a couple of pennies over that. And it's an excellent tripod. And like I said before, when we talked about this, it does give you the ability to adjust the different angles. So if you're gonna use a tripod like this, say for a podcast or something like that, this would be ideal because you could set your recorder or your microphone up on your little tripod, and then you could easily position it wherever you needed that uh, microphone to be addressed. So if it's going to be this style microphone, or you're using a condenser or a dynamic microphone, whichever you may be using, this could be ideal for it. And what is still good about this type of recorder is again, I cannot emphasize enough the ability to interchange these modules and use different types of microphones or whatever it may be. Now, if you're investing in something like this, and I guarantee you guys, you can find these used today on Amazon and eBay and other sources like Let Go. And you can probably find a really good deal on these that are in very good working condition. Like I said, I've had this particular unit forever, forever. And it still works perfectly. And it allows me to connect a microphone or even an instrument. You know, if you're a musician or something like that, you know, you can connect a, an instrument directly into this. And you can have from this unit right here, this inexpensive unit, well, I can't say inexpensive, but for the price that you're gonna spend for it, you're able to connect up to four microphones, including different modules, and there's a module that allows you to add another additional two microphones. So, that's just said with that. Okay, so, as you can see here, it also gives you the ability to use this like a handheld rig. So, if you're out and you're recording some audio or you're interviewing someone, you could address the microphone to that person, just like you see on the uh, news most nights. Then you could turn your microphone back to yourself. And this would work even if you were doing this same type of setup, let's say with a smartphone. So let's say, for instance, you don't have or cannot invest into a unit like this. Okay, that's a given. 
So maybe your next option would be a smartphone. So we talked about that before in the previous video, the ability to attach a smartphone holder to one of these microphones, uh, one of these little mini tripods. And the one that I had that I've been using literally forever is this little um, square jelly fish phone mount. I've had this thing forever and it just, you know, attaches right here onto your microphone, I mean, onto your tripod. And then you're able to attach a phone to it. I don't even know what I did with my phone. Let's see. Well, I know there's one around here. Hold on for a second. So this is an older, um, I think it's a Note 9. I don't use it anymore. It's been up here forever, so let's clean it up a little bit. Some of the dust off of it. So this would easily fit, no problem. And the advantage to um, a tripod stand like this is that you can adjust it. So if you wanted to adjust that, so you're gonna be doing some tabletop photography and you wanted to record something, well, you obviously wanna be level, and you wanted to record or photograph something on a table, or you wanted to go out and you know in the field, or even if you're just using it at home in your own home studio, you could you know then face the camera to yourself. Everyone knows how to use their phone camera, whether it's front facing or rear facing, whichever it may be. This just gives you a stable way to address that. Okay. So the other thing that I invested in here recently, now like I said, I've had this phone mount forever, and. I had two of them actually, and one of them failed on me a while back. Now, these do allow you to go into um, portrait mode. There's a little knob here on the side you can turn, and then if you turn it far enough, you can adjust this. And of course, probably because I'm saying that it's not gonna work. There we go. So then you could adjust this for say your standard Instagram content you'd be able to, you know, attach your phone like so. I'm not a big fan of shooting videos this way. I've just never have been, you know, maybe just because I'm old school that way, but um, it's become a trend. You know, you see it a lot, especially for people who want to record stuff and they don't want to have to um, do any post editing. You don't have to bring this in the final cut of Premiere or, or Rush or iMovie or whatever it is to resize your video this may be a perfect solution because then again, now you have your camera, you can record front or rear facing camera. And then if you want to set it down for some reason, boom, there you go. $20 investment. Okay. So I did purchase a replacement for this phone mount. And the reason being is, like I said, I've had two of these, um, the company sent me um, this smaller one, which has worked very, very well. And then they sent me a larger one. The problem was the small, I don't know if you guys can see that on these cameras, but there's the insert for the uh, screw that goes into it. After a while, because this is plastic, it will fail. And I'm not saying that, you know, it's, it's gonna fail eventually. So that's just something you have to take in mind. But you can find these relatively inexpensively. So. What did I replace it with? So I found on Amazon that Manfrotto also offers a phone mount and it has two different positions. One is going to be your portrait and one is going to be your landscape. So let's get into that and see exactly what this unit has to offer. Now, many times when I'm out, whether I'm out on my bike or um, you know, just out, you know, casually with friends, you know, when we could go out. I always have a smartphone with me. I'm sure you always have a smartphone with you. And small items like this that you can just, sorry about that noise, um, things that you could just put in your pocket is going to be perfect because all you need to do is place this in your pocket and then, now this, <laughs> this is not going to fit in your pocket unless you got like some really giant pockets. But if you're carrying a bag or something like that, that will be ideal for this. So now these two should made up pretty well. So generally, like I said, as I shoot most of my videos, I shoot them in uh, landscape mode. And 
Let's just get this on here. So it just screws down pretty tight. Now, this unit has a little lever in the back. You release that, and then you're able to, you know, extend it up and down. So let's position that. Let's push our phone in. Now, see, I can tell already that is a much secure uh, mount. You can feel it, and then you would depress this little lever here in the back, and that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, you could use this for video recording, or if you're using, you know, you, you are doing a podcast and you're starting out early, you could easily connect a lavalier microphone to your phone and then connect the lavalier to yourself, record your audio if you're planning for a podcast, and then easily upload your podcast right from your device to Anchor or whatever platform you're using to host your podcast. So that's always going to be a, a, a good idea. And this one, different from the other, it does have a portrait mode where you would be able to place this in portrait mode, but you would have to take it off and then attach it like so. Give me a second. Okay, so now we can open this up and we can adjust our phone up a bit, lock it down, and boom, there you go. So you can do basically the same thing. So now you can still create your content for Instagram and simply enough you could adjust this or you know reframe it if you needed to to create content for uh, YouTube, Facebook, and other platforms. Now, I'm going to always lean toward shooting all the content in landscape because if you shoot in landscape, you can always resize it for Instagram. But if you shoot in portrait, it'll never look right on YouTube. And I know everyone has seen those videos with those horrible black bars on the side because someone was shooting, holding their phone like so. And even if you're just out and you don't even have a tripod, it doesn't really matter. Just keep in mind, where am I going to be uploading this content and how will people be viewing it? Most people are gonna be holding their phones like so when they're viewing your content. And even when they're scrolling through Instagram, and I know a lot of you have noticed this recently, Instagram now has that feature where you can click on the video and expand it into landscape mode and then take a you know, better look at it, especially if you're you know, creating content for Instagram TV. That's the future. So a lot of you who are thinking about Instagram versus YouTube versus Twitter, man, use them all. Use them all. But think about the content that you're creating and the ability for that content to be viewed on multiple platforms without you have to go through a bunch of transitions and changes and all this other different stuff. So keep it simple. That's it. Keep it simple. So here's our tripod that I put together so far for that little running gun you know, pull it out of my bag, slap my phone in here, Note 10 Plus, Note 10 Ultra, whatever you're shooting with, and boom, 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 there you go. Okay, so this will work for your microphone. Ideally, this will also work for GoPros. So if you had a GoPro with a specific mount, and that mount is for tripods, you can connect it here, and you can use this also for your GoPro for time-lapse. You can use it for your phone for time-lapse. The Limit to this is your imagination. So whatever the application you need it for, this is nothing more than a tool. So think about it like that. This is a tool to help you get the best stable, steady footage you can get and ensure that the content you're creating is exactly what you want to create and you don't have to compromise in that and then upload your content. Okay, so I'm going to bring this video to an end, podcast to an end, whatever you want to call it. And I hope everyone is having a blessed day. They're staying safe, washing your hands. This pandemic is not over. Don't think it is because it's not. So take care of yourself, take care of your families, and look out for each other. And again, think about what I said in the beginning. Think about doing some random act of kindness. I know a lot of us are considering, you know, oh, well, I'm not working. It may be something simple. Use your imagination. Tell me what you think would be something good you could do for someone that you don't even know. 
that they would benefit from. And then hopefully, it could be something as simple as helping someone carry their groceries to the car. And I know it's like, oh, no, we got to stay six feet away. Well, okay, that one may not work out as well for some, but you know what I mean. There's always something you can do. You know, you're in line paying for your groceries. And maybe you'll say, hey, um, take a $5 bill if, that, if you can afford that and put that on the next person's groceries. It's just thought. So anyway, it's been your boy Rome. I will catch you guys in the next video slash podcast. Until then, stay safe. Peace. I'm out.